I'm going to be going over how you can earn money on the Coinbase app and grow your account quickly. Now, I can't promise results, but I am going to show you what's brought me to this point. I'm also going to give you some recommendations for kind of like some tools and some of the best coins to get into right now. Of course, as I'm going over this, if you guys could also smash a like button on this video, I would definitely appreciate it. Okay, anyways, uh, here is my account. I mean, in the last 30 days, I've, you know, more than doubled it. But what's crazy is if you really just kind of like look at the one year on here, I've gone from, you know, $3,000 to almost $80,000 in 12 months, which is, you know, in my opinion, amazing. Uh, I put a lot of work into this. There's some things that I've done. I've had to take risks. So obviously, when you're looking at getting these kind of returns... You're going to have to take some risk. I mean, there is going to be risk involved in it for sure. Now, uh, a couple different websites I would recommend checking out, you know, if you're in crypto right now or, you know, thinking about getting into it. Coin Market Cap uh, will pull up basically, you know, the top one coin, Bitcoin, all the way to all the rest of the coins. So, I mean, you can kind of get an idea of what's popular on here. Um, and I would recommend sticking in the top 20 coins, learn about the top 20, and then kind of go from there. And then you can kind of like make your own valuations on uh, where you think some of these coins can go. But uh, definitely a powerful website. Another one that I use on a daily basis is uh it's actually an app but i'm logged into the desktop version it's called stock twits now it's not just stocks it's also got crypto coins you could see um i'm in a a few different rooms here xrp is one of them and it's one of the coins that i actually own as well right now it's got like seventy eight thousand members in here but basically when you join a, a group for a crypto on here you know you can start having discussions with people who also own the coin that way you can kind of get some feedback and some different opinions about you know where people think the coin might go uh and it, it's good, guys. It's good to be involved with uh, with communities and just kind of get, you know, feedback from people because you can kind of think uh, instead of having to do, you do all the thinking yourself, you can just get good feedback. So I do recommend that for sure. Now, how have I grown my account, right? What have I done? It's really not that complicated what I've done. I've done what's called swing trading, which is where you buy into a coin, hold it maybe for like a few days, maybe a few weeks, maybe a few months, and then you sell. One of the coins, and this is also a coin I recommend checking out. This isn't financial advice, but the basic attention token, I bought and sold quite a bit. So, you know, let's say it was at 18 cents and then went up to 20 cents. That would be like a 5%. Um, gain. What I would do at that point is if I had like, you know, uh, I don't know, maybe like a few thousand dollars, I would take that percent, sell it, and then I would rinse and repeat this process. Now, I did this a lot with the basic attention token, but when you're swing trading, it lets you compound your money faster. On the flip side, though, you know, if it went down, you could lose money. There were some times where I wasn't just gaining, I did lose. So you just got to know that you know, it is risky, but it is a way to grow your account fast. And I was able to pull that off, you know, uh, flipping that token quite a bit. But I also think that's a good to hold for the long term. And then, of course, you know, I absolutely love Stellar XLM. Now, I don't own any of this currently, mainly because I own a lot of XRP, which is kind of like correlated with this coin quite a bit. But, you know, if you look at the one year on here, you can see it's up quite a bit. Uh, I wouldn't recommend going for this coin unless you can get it around 15 cents at this point. You know, it's uh, broken the 20 cent mark. I kind of gave a price prediction on it where I was saying, you know, it would get to the 20 to 30 cent range, you know, in the next uh, 12 months. And it obviously has already done that. So, I mean, I do like that one. Another coin that you could actually uh, swing trade quite a bit or hold on to if you wanted to is Algorand, AK Algo. Now, um, I'm hoping this coin get to a dollar to a dollar fifty sometime in 2021, maybe towards the end, who knows, but I do like that coin quite a bit as well. Then of course you've got Orchid. This is a VPN based crypto that has a low price point. Shot up to a dollar at one point this year. Um, and honestly, guys, I, I mean, I really like this one. I think that uh, it's very unique. It's the only VPN-based crypto out there. So I do think it has a lot of potential, especially for the price to go up. But um, last coin, guys, uh, XRP, like I said, love XRP. Right now, it's up a lot on the year as far as like getting into it at this point. It's hard for me to say what price would be good, but you know, I'm hoping it breaks a dollar pretty soon. I think if you can get it anywhere between like 30 and 50 cents, 
uh, under 50 cents, preferably. It's a good long-term hold for sure. You know, it's a top three crypto coin, which is important. Like I said, whenever you're thinking about getting any coins in general, whether it's to swing trade them or to hold on to them for the long term, stay in the top 20. I mean, really research the top 20 on coin market cap and, you know, you'll, you'll learn a lot about whatever you're thinking about getting. And that's just important. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed another Coinbase app video. Uh, if you guys could smash a like button, subscribe to the channel for more crypto content. Thanks for watching it. We'll see you in the next one.